And if we continue with our lesson here about the existence of God, uh, I'm not going to do no reviews. You go back and get the audio and the videos. They're there. We pick up with every man from God is born with a conscience. As we take up now conscience. Now, if we go to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, we'll go right to the New Testament with Paul. The existence of God is, is in us. And it has to be taught out of us. Uh, 1 Timothy 4, 1 and 2. Now, what is that 2 Timothy? Am I? Second verse says conscience. Okay. 1 Timothy 4, 1 and 2. Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, speaketh expressly that in the latter times, our day and age, some shall depart from the faith. I can give you church names. Giving heed to seducing spirits. So they ruled out the Holy Spirit for spirits. Small ass. Can I give you one? The spirit of Christmas. That was free. And doctrines of devils. Easter. Is a doctrine of devils. Comes right out of Rome. Being, being saved by water and not blood. That's a doctrine of devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. That's just, you know, that's two words you don't want in really one sentence. Lies and hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared. That's catarized or hardened. With a hot iron. We're not going to go any further. A conscience can be catarized. It can be hardened. And when you leave God's conscience by these two verses, you've got a departure. Depart from the faith. What is the faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Somebody who has a modern Bible has departed from the faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. What is the faith there? Well, Jesus is not coming. After all, it's been too long. Leaving church. Leaving the Bible. Leaving prayer. Seducing. Giving heed to seducing spirits. You know, there are probably churches, and I know of one right now, that has books in their library with witchcraft and, and, and magic. C.S. Lewis. Um, I can't think of that other book there. Harry Potter. I've been in a Christian house where the little girl comes up with a book, gave it to me to read with, with the uh, Wizard of Oz. I've seen Walt Disney books in Christian homes for children with magic. I ain't talking about decades ago. I'm talking about present Devils and the doctrine of devils. When you break away your conscience, you get a departure, a seducing, and devils, and then number four, you get lies. The school system has left the Bible to deduce the children into devil worship 
with lies that we came from nothing and here we are today. There is yoga being taught in the public school system, but yet the public school systems will tell a parent, we do not want to get involved in religion, and they don't even know that yoga is a religion. And in California, when the kids are put onto a mat to pray to Allah, Satan, worship, God has given us a conscience and you can sear the conscience. Iron in the Bible is never a good reference. And is not a good reference here. And yet, in some cases, with a human body, a doctor needs to take a hot instrument to catalyze a wound... And yet, this is not for medical purposes. This is to turn yourself from God. And you go on and read the rest of that mess. And you'll find religions. There's a religion out there that says that their people should not get married. There are religions out there, oh, you don't eat meat, you eat vegetables. Religion. And this is where man will doubt God. They get it from education and it's passed from men to men. Proverbs 3 5. Proverbs 3 5. This is man made. When you say that there's no God, or you got a religion and you come up with your own rules that violate the scripture, you can sear your conscience by evolution, or you can sear your conscience with religion, either or. Now, Proverbs 3 5 Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. And what exactly has as this thing with it, there is no God? It's man's own understanding. And God leads them to it. Romans chapter 1. Man's understanding. Man's science is false. It is a lie. As a preacher is to preach to his assembly about the Bible, the blood of Jesus, the creation of God, everything from Genesis to Revelation, there are men out there who are in a podium teaching other men that Big Bang, there is no God, pray to this woman, eat this thing, don't eat this thing, obey this rule, don't obey this rule, get wet, stay dry, Follow this commandments. It's an imitation of what God has ordained. Acts seventeen twenty three. Acts seventeen twenty three. You know we come a long way in America. Backwards. Paul, again, verse 22, then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill. You know we're right back in the Bible? You say, what are you talking about? Don't we have some creepy little things on Mars Hill right now? One of them, one of them is the rover. The other one, Destiny or something like that. We are in the Bible on Mars Hill today as we speak. What are they looking for? Let's read and find out. Let's see what NASA's doing. 
with your tax dollars. Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. Superstition lies with a conscience that does not turn to God. I want to meet people down there in South Florida from where we live now have lucky rabbit foots and uh, uh, horseshoes and don't do anything on Friday the 13th. Put that ladder away. Throw it all over, the shoulder, over your shoulder. Superstition is along with a line of a conscience that's been seared. For I passed by and beheld your devotions. Oh, they got devotions. So what do they say? You got yours and I got mine. I found an altar. Oh, they got an altar. We got an altar in our church. So do they. I know Americans, listen, don't tell me you're an atheist, you don't have an altar. What about December 25th when you bowed your knees to get those presents? That's an altar. An inscription to the unknown God. Oh, that's not even America. You know, in Athens, here they are. They worship polyethic, all many different kinds of gods. God of the sun, God of the moon, God of the mercury, God this, God that. All right? And they say, you know what? With all these gods we have, there may be one God that we don't know about. Let's do something for him. Well, America in 2014, let's get God out. You got all kinds of little mini gods. And they're all on Sundays for some stupid reason. Whom therefore you ignorantly worship, 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 worship. I worship God. You, the born again Bible believer, worships God. Him declare I unto you. Wow. The unknown God, where the Bible proclaims God in the beginning, God. Athens was agnostic, they believed in God. Even a God they did not know. Athens was the most educated culture like America. Except America is going to atheism. And let me ask you a question. These people in Athens, the Romans, the Greeks that are in this period of time, where are they today? Dead and in hell. Where is their country? Where is their nationality? Dead. As a doorknob. Where will America be one day? Dead. From your birth, conscience, God is known. Now, you may not know the God of the Bible. You may, Listen, there are places they, they have never heard about Jesus Christ. I talked to a missionary one time, and he was so pleased and so excited that he actually visited a group of people that had never seen a picture of Jesus. Never mind even heard about Jesus. Ever. Bring me that place where they have not been perverted by the world and religion. But they would look to the skies and say, I have no idea, but somebody created it. That unknown God, somebody. I don't know who you are. 
Athens had more of a conscience than America. NASA is sending this stuff off so they can go find the origins of the of the world, origins of the universe, and they don't realize it's probably in their library, hidden behind junks of books, or you can find it in Walmart for a dollar at the dollar store. A King James Bible will save you all kinds of money to tell you that God in the beginning. And that everyone from the guy who cleans the toilet to the head owner or operator of Washington, D.C. that supports NASA is going to stand before God at the judgment seat. The great white throne judgment seat will stand there and will have to give an account for every single penny they spent to disprove God. And God will say, Mr. Men of Athens, please stand up. Yes, yes, Lord. Before I cast you and these people in hell, will you tell them that you worship a God you didn't even know while these idiots didn't worship nothing? Imagine a group of men from Athens coming up to a group of men in America and saying, well, at least we had something to the unknown God. And Paul preached to them. And it says, and when they heard the resurrection of the dead, verse 32, some mocked, okay, and others said, we will hear again of this matter. And Paul departed from among them, howbeit certain men claimed unto him and believed, among which was Diotrephes, the Arapathite, and a woman named Demarius, forgive me for saying that wrong, name wrong, and others with them. You park your butt in Washington, D.C., where the U.S. Capitol is, and preach to the senators, to the Congress, to the President of the United States, and you will not get one follower. And yet, on top of the Capitol, you got this woman holding up a scale, you know, Miss Liberal, whatever, her, whatever she is. Because everyone in Washington, D.C. has been corrupted by the public school. The public school from pre-K is why they were, is why they want your child. They don't want your child to be homeschooled. If they were to get rid of that U.S. Constitution, they will have all power as, as Pharaoh would have in Egypt every male child you're to kill. Because we sure don't want Christian mama and daddy to teach their children about the Bible. And the churches in America, Baptist churches right around this area, are so helping the world because they are not teaching the Bible the way it should be. Matter of fact, they got a modern Bible teaching against God. And in ten years, Lord Terry, you ain't going to have no Christians. And the Lord will have to come and get us because there's so little and the world will be happy because the less Christians we have, the more rebuke we'll get from them. The pre-K all the way to graduation in 12th year, they want your child to re-educate them out of God. You think I'm lying? Go find me a classroom in a public school system where they teach about God in the Bible. Where is God in a public school? And yet they cry out with all these shootings. Why did God allow that in the school? And God will answer back, I'm not allowed in your school. To say my conscience does not burn. To say my conscience is, is, does not burn. But Timothy... The letter to Timothy says it burns. Don't say it has nothing to do with my conscience. Conscience is that inner part of us that God gave us to stop sinning, to do right. 
You say, what about these people that, that rape all these women, that, that abuse all these children, that kill all these people? What is their problem? Send them to a psychiatrist. Get their head examined. It's not the head. It's the conscience. It's been seared. Listen, all these shootings, all these killings, all these mass murders, these people that held these women in, in captive for years and years and years in their house, tied up, these sexual sins, these things are the product of the American public school system because the conscience has been seared. You are an animal, so go live like one. Why not have abortion in America? After all, there are some animals out there that will eat their young. Pigs will eat their young. So go live like a pig. That's why abortion is not a, it's against the law in America. That's why it's not a sin, because pigs will eat their own young. You've been teaching we came from apes. You know what apes do with their poo poo? When I grew up in New London, Connecticut, we had a, a little animal zoo that we could go see, and there was an ape uh, building there that had different monkeys and apes, and there was an ape there that was named Rocky. Rocky's favorite thing was to take the stuff that comes out of his rear end and throw it at you. Thank God there was a glass window. And no other ape came up to Rocky, smacked him or beat him, and said, you're a bad little ape, now go in the corner. And that is where America's going today. And to say that, you know, conscience and all that, if there is no God, then there is no accountability to nobody. There is no accountability to this unknown God in 23. But the Ath the Athens, Athens, the Athens, you know what they're doing? I don't know if there's that particular God there, but you know what? We're going to be held accountable to him. We better do something for him. This was a nation that worshipped gods and gods and gods, and just in case there's one God, we got to please him, just in case we have to stand before this one, let's please him, and America's going the other way. Let's get rid of the gods. And let's lift up man. How do I know that? Well, when you go to our Walmart, when we the, the, the checkout that we usually go through, there, there's a bunch of trading cards there. And I look sometimes, it takes Walmart forever and 12 items or less. I look at those trading cards. You know, I've never found a trading card set for famous men and women in the Bible. Wouldn't it be nice to have a, a card there, you know, and, and let's say David and the scripture with things he did and what he was and who he was. That would be great to have. But no, I see baseball. I see basketball. I've seen witches and wizards and, and, and other kind of filth. Now, I know we're not to have pictures and stuff like that, but... Why does a sports star, why is it next week or week after that? So I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. But why is it there will be many churches in America on Sunday night will, will cancel church services and bring in that booby tube and flash upon all those cheerleaders dancing up and down and all the stupid uh, commercials about the horses and getting drunk and everything and the filth and all that will be played out in the church house. In honor of 47, 33, 38, 40 yard line, 5 yard line, rah, 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 rah. And then one year, one woman shows her nipples across the television. Oh, the church has got upset. What were you doing watching that? I hope this one, I, I hope a woman shows her rear end to all the world. And you make your congregation watch that. You have no business watching it. That's the fell. That's what we go into. We have we don't have a God. We don't worship God. We worship man. Man's the great I am. Man is sitting there with an electric razor who shaved all the hair off him, and now here he is today with hair in a certain spot. Why didn't he shave all the hair off?
The hairless ape. That's bull. There's no hairless ape. We got hair. You're lying to me. Why is there crime in the greatest in America? Because of evolution and atheism. We come from animals, so why not just act like animals? Atheism. There's no God, so why be, why be, why, who cares? If I'm going to stand before a man judge in a courtroom, if I have enough crocodile tears, he's going to let me go. If there's no God to be accountable to, then I am not responsible to no one or anyone. And that is why America's in the shape she is. I can live as I please. It is the result of evolution and atheism and taking God out of the school. The correctional system is a joke. There was a woman in my state that went to jail one year for bank robbery. They let her go. And she, you know what? She robbed even more banks. How did she get away with robbing more banks? And this is what she said in the newspaper, because I learned how to do it from the people I was in jail with. You know, you send a guy to jail for, for writing a, a bad check, and he'll come out knowing how to steal an automobile. He's in group with them all. The lowest common denominator of people will go to the lowest common denominator. If a Christian hangs around with a bunch of losers, lost sinners, that Christian will not build them up. He will be brought down to their level. Parenting today is a laugh. We watched uh, on a commercial the other day, someone, and this kid just smacks the, the woman right in the face. And it's a joke. Discipline is out. And God is on his way out too. You know God's going to go one day? And he's going to take his people out. And guess what? Uh, uh, first Thessalonians, I think it's First Thessalonians. It's one of Thessalonians. I'm going to show you something. What happens when God? Uh, I know right where it is in my Bible. Give me another Bible. I'm in trouble. I know where things are in my Bible. Um, Second Thessalonians chapter two. This is what's going to happen, my friend. This is because of atheism and evolution and denying God. For 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. This is what's coming. This is going to be pay the piper. You don't want God? I'll give you no God, God says. But let me take my people out first. This comes after 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 when God speaks about the rapture. You don't want me in the schools. You don't want me in the government. You don't want me in the country. Fine. I will get out. I will leave you alone. I'll let you have Satan. Watch. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. You know, churches are deceiving you today. For that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first. Boy, are we falling away. Boy, have the churches fallen down to the cesspools. When you get, when a church has to get a liquor license and a church has to get a liquor insurance, when the churches are foul and unclean, and Christmas, you gotta say that for. And the man, did I skip over. And a man of sin, the man of sin, and that man of sin, be revealed, the son of perdition. There's the antichrist. He's the next great leader that's coming to this country. It ain't Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ meets us in the air. Jesus Christ is not coming to this planet to the second advent. The next worldly man is going to hit the stage as this man of sin. Going to be probably taught in American schools. Who oppresses and exalts himself above all that is called God. 
Oh, what is that idiot's name? Oh, boy. Shimshot Redemption. Oh, what was his name? The black actor. You know what he said in an interview? I am God. You know what David Crash said? I am Jesus. Oh, that is worship. So that he, as God, capital G, the Antichrist is going to proclaim to the whole world, he is God. You ain't going to escape in the public school system. You're going to have a God. Atheism, you're going to have a God. Sit us in the temple of God. Guess what? The temple's coming. And shows himself that he is God. Atheism is going to come to the end. And it's not by the Bible believing churches today going out and so winning. There ain't going to be no revival. Atheism ends by Satan sitting in the temple saying, I am God. What do you think this world's going to be like when Satan is in control? 911, what's your emergency? I just saw a guy get shot in the streets. So, he had the mark. My husband's beating me hurt. No, what do we care for? There's no love. Satan has no love. Satan has no mercy. Satan has no grace. When you're under Satan, you ain't going to get that. Women are going to be beat. Children are going to be raped. There's going to be all kinds of sin. This is exactly what American public wants. And you're going to get it. The Sodomites will be doing not just marrying. They'll do their things in the streets. As the days of Lot. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what with, withhold is that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked, capital W, be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the second advent, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, the second advent. Who, even him, whose coming is after the workings of Satan, with the Pentecostal all power and signs and lying wonder. There's your Benny Hinn. There's your TV evangelism. There is your tongues movement. All under Satan. When the charismatic church will run worldwide and real rampant. No Bible, no Christians. Oh, guess what? what what's, what's the word we said today? No conscience. Can you imagine what this world's going to be like in wickedness when there's no conscience? Let me ask you a question. You're driving down the road in your car, and there's seven, ten kids over there waiting for a school bus or waiting for the bus, whatever. What stops you from taking that car and just running them over? Well, it's wrong. My conscience would bother me. That's not right. Well, what are you gonna, what's going to happen when you are in the day and age of Satan and the conscience and what is right is gone? We are heading there and the American public school system is inviting Satan to come and take over, getting rid of right. There is no more right when Satan is running. There is no more mercy. There is no more grace. There is no more God of the Bible. You think there's going to be a correctional institute? They're going to let them out. They're going to lock up the ones, the 144,000. They're going to lock up the Jews that are, who believe in Jehovah, who don't want to be. They're going to mark. Anybody who doesn't receive the mark is going to be locked up. All those that are in favor of Satan will be set loose. 
for your boat. And with all deceivableness, I can't even say that word. So, whole bunch of used car salesmen and politicians running around. How about that? Of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. There's God, for God so loved the world that they might be saved. For this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion. God's going to give them what they want, the delusion. There is no God. We don't need We came from monkeys. We came from apes. And that they should believe a lie. What is the public school system teaching their kids today? They're teaching them the way of the, of the Antichrist. <coughs> now listen, I mark my word, I got four people in this room right now as a testimony. I am not saying this about President Obama. He is not the Antichrist. But that health care thing they got set up in this country now is a way of the mark. It ain't there yet. But we will have a national, if you don't like it or not, us Christians will be gone. But there will be a national health care in this country, and the only way you can get health and get your doctor and get your medical treatment is if you receive the mark. Christians will be gone. God is going on his way out, the rapture, and his people. What you will get is lawlessness, unrighteousness, no mercy, and no grace. And that is exactly what is being taught in our public schools today. It ain't there yet. When a kid shoots a school up, and they praise him for doing it, then you, you're, you're almost there. We're not there yet. And they are so quick to say, that one, one kid that did, well, you know, he, he had mental problems and all that. No, stop it. Stop it. If you're able to do the deed, then you ought to be able to do the, the time or the judgment. Atheism. The truth is, he does not want God of the Bible. And he knows the God of the Bible. There are a few people I've worked with. There's one in particular I got in my mind I pray for all the time. He wants to deny God. He wants, you know, the witches and the, and the wizards and all that. And educated and you know what not because I let my light shine because of who I am and what the Bible is he knows there's a God and that God is living in my life he cannot ever well there's no God because then you call me a liar Because I've never seen God. That's another excuse. I've never seen God. Well, I've never seen your brain, so you must be brainless. Okay? I've never seen your backbone, so you must be spineless. I've never seen your bones, so maybe you're boneless. See, you can't do that. I've never seen oxygen. But I breathe. And you realize God put our brains in our head that can't be seen. He's given us oxygen that we can't see. The fact is that he is a God you cannot see. But you got to believe. What if we get to heaven and God tells us it wasn't oxygen? <laughs> Let me tell you what it really was. You know, man said it was oxygen. It may not be. I don't know. I'm just saying. The place to find God is in the Bible. You ain't going to find him out in the woods. You ain't going to find him underwater. You ain't going to find him on Mars. You're going to find him in the King James Bible. 
where your heart and your conscience says, show me. Show me, Lord, you. And where you stop believing, where you don't want to go any further, God will say, okay, that's it. God will show you all light as long as you want the light. A man who is an atheist does not want to see God. Well, then he'll show me God. Why should, you, why should God show himself to someone that doesn't believe in him? It's like trying to wrap your arms around someone who doesn't love you. The place to find God is in the Bible. And you need to be born again. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the God of this Bible, before the event that I told you about tonight happens. And never mind this event. The fact is you may die before the rapture. That if you were to die without Christ, you will burn in a living hell and you will be cast into the lake of fire with no relief. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with thy heart. Confession is made unto salvation with their mouth. For whosoever shall call upon the Lord shall be saved. That the gospel is by scripture that God, that Jesus Christ, who are one, died, was buried. And arose again the third day that Jesus Christ is sitting on the right hand of God the Father right now. That Calvary paid for your sins, for all have sinned, and come to show the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. You have a sin debt to be paid. Don't you pay it. Let Christ pay for it. Salvation's plan is just a fairy tale, but their lies don't change the truth that Jesus died for you, and the word says his return. 